Unknown territory survey. Head deep into the unknown territory to find the coral convergence. Eliminate your pursuer. Huh? We'll see who it is. There's so many ACs it could be. It could be Rusty going out for revenge, or it could be fucking any of the other people that we haven't like actually killed on the arena list. Fight an AC here. Fuck it. Bring the Azure Burst to a potentially normal mission. Who could be following you? The Liberation Front? Another mercenary? Main system. Activating combat mode. Mission. Make your way down to the next depth. Yes, All right, let's go down. Thank fuck, I didn't want to hear him scold me, even though I'm down here. Rely on your eyes and ears. Is that... What the fuck? World response for a deep sighted creature. What the Watch fuck? Out. What the fuck? Looks like these guys got a taste of the coral too. I wasn't expecting biological creatures down here. Oh boy. So I regret not bringing Slugger. I don't have all the ammo for this. And my plasma. This has hit the roof. I guess I don't technically have to shoot them. They pull themselves up eventually. Set myself up right. Coral response. That's scary, but I'm sure it won't attack us until we're a little bit further in. What is that? Looks like a turret. Okay. 
It's Rusty. Hey, Rusty. Go deal with a mercenary who went in alone, they said. <laughs> Figures. Seems both of us are too dangerous to keep around. <laughs> and the higher-ups wouldn't miss an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. Say it, but Only Rubicon still needs me. <laughs> Only one of us is making out of here alive, Rusty. So, buddy, who needs you? Uh, Rubicon as well, but like the literal, like the Rubiconians. I don't want to dance to their tune, but this time I don't have any other choice. I'm coming, buddy. There's such a Six two one. Make it through this alive. That's your job now. You never change. You're not afraid to die or to kill. It's the job, Rusty. You know how it is. But I'm working. This has been a real eye opener. What? Strong, a threat. That was a sick ass attack. Look, I'm gonna help the Rubic Rubicon Liberation Front. You know them. They know you. At 30 percent. You're sharp. That's not the only thing that makes you dangerous. I fought alongside you several times, but I never could figure you out. Tell me, buddy, what drives you? You repair kit. I want to see more, Rusty. That's it. That's the only thing that drives me here. I want to see where this all leads. I guess he got away. We've lost all signs of Steel Haze. He's escaped. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. We we're both still Good making job, out of here. No need to pursue him. We have to keep pressing on. Guess we'll run I'm into him later. Up a major coral response coming from the bottom of the pit. Let's keep moving, Raven. That was a big fall. <laughs> it's close. Whoa. A city from before the fires of Ibis. The Institute City. Holy shit. Institute City. Of course. No wonder we couldn't find it. I need to prepare before the corpse move in. Head back to base and rest up. Yeah, I forgot about the log that we got that talked about, uh, Institute City like two missions ago. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's what's down there. Because it did just kind of tell us outright. Plasma thrower. Looks almost like a melee weapon. Raven. I see them so clearly. The voices of the coral. My family. <sighs> Brothers and sisters consumed by the fires of Ibis. Only a few survived. But after all this time, they finally formed a new flock. 
It looks like Walter has sent you a message. Let's take a look, Raven. You've got it, Air. I wonder if that means the Incoming city is still running. Rubicon Research Institute. I wonder if that makes Walter the first scientist in the story. It would make sense as to why he had so much, I mean, like, access to so many, like, augmented mercenaries. And why he kind of, like, for being a person who's using us for his own ends, still, like, regards us somewhat humanely you know he tells us to rest up he's taking care of us he really could just be like an asshole like all the other people have been very mixed in and totally fine with just kind of like dehumanizing us even further i know he has too in in, in, a, in a way but it, it's always been like half positive half negative like ah uh, you know like you're a dog but also you're my dog dog <laughs> yeah. that's how it's been don't insult my mutt. <laughs> Reach the Coral Convergence. Concludes chapter. Damn, look at that money too. 520,000. <laughs> it's gonna be serious. Eliminate the two ACs dispatched by the corporations and reach the Coral Convergence. Damn, all right, all right. Still going against ACs, huh? I'll give Slugger a chance here. He's got a voice in his head, too, but like in a different way, just like the <laughs> the guilt eating him up from the inside. Hmm, that's going to be intriguing. I, I don't know about this. Azure Burst is really good for like one-on-one -on -one AC fights. I don't really think it's great for 1v2. AC fights, and then with Slugger, who fucking does? I, <laughs> it all comes down to like, can I hit the target? Six, two, one. From I don't know. Out, I... Never mind. Just trust your instincts. I'm trusting my instincts, see, Handler, Walter, but I don't know. <laughs> It's a good thing Agent I. Snail, come in. Requesting backup. We have insufficient force to ensure success. These institute relics are such pests. The Arcus 
I guess I should have gone for her first. She got disintegrated. She lasted like three seconds. The vascular plant. It's still here. He must be in a gigantic structure in the distance. That one? Or like over there. <laughs> Why don't I just chill out? Don't deal with the fucking Dark Souls spinning blade wheels of death. I don't think goods ever come from uh, from software. What? Fuck it. Enemy detected. And Thomas Grindel wheel. Like children and Thomas ammunition at 50%. AP at 30%. Yeah. This is all kinds of bad. Stable energy for half a century. Perhaps it should be no surprise that humanity so desires coal. Bayes must be tracking us by now. Hurry, Sister One. I'm busy. Right, show no repair kits remaining. We're killing the giant wheels. He's doing like do something. Oh, I get combat logs from it. Yeah, that works. I'll take that. AP at 50%. Whew. I'm about to go back and hunt for combat log stuff so I can unlock the rest of the, the log hunts things. Oh, shit. Whoa! Well. I was gonna say, is he gonna make it back? I'm <laughs> lucky. Ran itself into a wall. It wasn't even necessary. I thought he was gonna make it all the way to this side instead. Any parts down there? 
feels like it could be a good area. Parts. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, there's absolutely a fire. How did I miss a stationary target I was locked onto? they defending over here? Moonlight. That's a weapon. That's cool. What is this? Oh. Image data STK sketch. Sketch by the famed artist STK who perished half a century ago during the fires of Ibis. Or Ibis. His style was assimilated by AI artists and with that time mimicry supplanted the real technique. Oh my god. Uh, notes. Professors, two assistants. Boy. Assistant one's heading for a breakdown. Boy's sharper than he looks. Oh shit. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. I gotta go. I don't have the health for this. I need a fucking resupply part. Whoa! Oh my god, resupply point. Ooh. Jesus. This lake, it's all. Here we are, 621. Archibus will be here soon. Investigate before they arrive. You got it, sir. Yeah, I left a couple of those log hunt targets behind, but <laughs> I just didn't have the health for it. I got messed up by those wheels. And the, the AC fire. Rising. It's building up faster than I'd expected. Raven, I knew Walter was... overhead a response it's a sea weapon oh, oh that looks scary It's called the Ibis series. Get ready, 621. One more job for you. Safe. And now their original masters are long gone. 
certainly tried, but this is, this is rough. This is another fucking fast boss. Focus, system one. You have to focus. Some poor shit. Well, we'll try with a slugger maybe another couple of times. Seeing that it has a phase two. Uh -huh. gonna fucking fly away. It's, it, it, it's really bullshit that like not it's only you have to deal with the phase two shit, but like it's completely immune during is this, this like fucking startup, but it's shooting at you at the same time. It's How do you think we'll try and do that? some changes here. Uh, first we'll try Azure Burst 2.5. I don't really think Azure Burst is the call, just because I don't really know how much damage I'll actually do to this thing. Uh, with the shotguns. But it might be intense! the first time I got hit by that fucking tank! Much more. 
remaining. Alright. Solid Wait. first phase. It's coming back. It's reactivating. Is this what the Ibis series is truly capable of? It's resonating with the alien core, drawing power from its environment. It won't stop until we destroy its generator. fuck was that? Alright, I gotta be careful about phase two of phase two, where it just becomes a giant fucking energy manta ray. And if it hits you, you're just fucking dead. There was no recovering from that. I actually hate that the checkpoint for this starts me literally instantly being attacked by this thing. I wasn't prepared mentally. <laughs> just fuck it, alright. Run it back. That time went far more poorly. I think it's controlled by Core 2. Listen up, 621. The Ibis series are no ordinary weapons. They're designed to prevent coral disasters. A security measure to keep Rubicon safe. I feel so fucking bad for anyone who plays this game. <laughs> From like, like, uh, you know, having only played the Souls series and developed like no other like levels of reaction and aim, because holy shit! Keep it up, it can't take much more of this. It fucking goes everywhere. Jesus Christ! Silent. Two repair kits remaining. Wait, it's coming back. It's reactivating. Is this what the Ibis series is truly capable of? It's resonating with the Indian core, drawing power from its environment. It won't stop until we destroy its generator. Yeah, it fucking has. No, I'm ready for a phase three. We actually we're we've got like the a med kit. Resonance. It's fading. The machine's resolve inherited from its creators. Voices from the past fading into Whoa! Huh? No. Ah! These Raven, fucking corpos! Ah. Damn it, they were once you're like, ah, oh, thanks for fighting that thing for us, and you're knocked out. 
target neutralized. Chatty? Yes, yes. I left the subject alive as instructed. How do you even Only know? Phone would try to outfox Archibus. Oh, it's not Chatty. I'll see that the unruly dog is punished and brought to heal. It's Snail. They just sound very similar. The monotone, like, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, and of course, let's not forget the Hound's master either. I don't even know where fucking Walter is physically. I don't think he's with us down here. I think he's just orbiting the planet and telling us shit. Ooh. Light wave blade. Moonlight. Ooh. That sounds cool. God damn, that was so much. What the fuck? And it could have been even more. Ooh, we got another reverse joint. Archibus seized control of the coral. And its occupying forces swiftly commandeered the entirety of Institute City. There, they discovered a wealth of forgotten relics. Among them, experimental weapons that the Institute kept secret, fearing they were beyond human control. A group of sea weapons bearing the name of the Central Coral Control System. The Ibis series. Archibus also claimed a towering coral siphon, abandoned since the fires the vascular plant. Now, they toil to repair the plant and extend its reach beyond Rubicon's atmosphere. The Liberation Front no longer had the power to stop them. And the fires of war continued to smolder as the end drew near. This is a halfway point or the fucking end of the game? What the hell? <laughs> okay, all right, we're still going, we're still going. Raven? Hey, Air. I found a message addressed to you. Decoding and playing back. Six two one. A friend of mine sent a request. This one comes from me. You know what hidden dangers lurk within the coral. The fires of Ibis should have wiped the coral out, but it survived, gathered, and it's been steadily multiplying ever since. Now the coral convergence is growing at an exponential rate. Eventually, it'll spill out from Rubicon, and contaminate space itself. The coral must be burned, 621. Even if that means reigniting the fire that scorched the stars. This isn't an order. It's a legacy. Yeah? My fallen friends entrusted this duty to me, and now it's my turn to hand it on. 621. Feed the fire. Let the last cinders burn. I can I try. Have one last job for you. Find your freedom. Raven. Now I finally understand what Walter was thinking. This AC. He must have foreseen this outcome and prepared for it. It's time for us to escape. Am I taking that? <laughs> Main system, activating combat mode. Oh shit, what the fuck? Sorty using an older AC. You will use an old gen AC instead of your usual craft on this mission. This AC is made from junk parts and its performance leaves much to be desired. Hold right click to rapid fire right hand machine gun. Q to left, uh, fire left shoulder scatter bazooka. I found some coordinates in the AC systems. He's showing us the way out. 
What's my left hand? Yeah, uh, charge up. Can't do that. Okay. I uh, can't believe they put us on sewer duty. It's that ancient pieces of shit they're worried about. Now this ancient piece of shit's coming out to destroy you. Is that an AC? Where'd it come from? That piece of scrap's alive. Is that Institute deck? We should avoid coming in as much as possible, Raven. I'm afraid this AC is no match for your abilities. <laughs> Your piloting will destroy the AC in and of itself. You should really be careful, pilot. Jamming rounds. Jamming rounds rupture on impact, creating an area of effect that disrupts lock on enemy lock on. This AC is equipped with a jamming round and launcher is its left hand weapon. Oh, that's what that is. We're at a disadvantage. Let's find a way around them. If they do spot you, your left hand weapon is equipped with jamming rounds. I'll go around. Looks like the jamming rounds also jam my lock-ons as well, but that's okay, we can make it work. Just whatever the fuck this is. Okay, video record testing new components. <laughs> oh, all right. I was hoping it was a part. Video record extracted from a wreck. One can see performance tests of an unpiloted AC. An officer's voice can be heard in the background. I see no significant difference in performance compared to what an AI can achieve. How very disappointing. This experiment was another failure then. Regardless, I will have answers. The revival of ACs brought the age of unpiloted craft to an end. But what essential difference makes them superior? Send a message to the factory. Have them leave the torso intact next time. technically need to kill this thing? Right hand ammunition at 30%. But now I'm committed. Left shoulder ammunition at 30%. Was that worth it? Probably not. Here's our way back to the surface. This AC should have just enough propulsion. Is this the outskirts of Institute City? This is V5 Pater, calling all security team members. Pater? Raven, the independent mercenary subject to re-education, is on the run. I have direct orders from V2 Snail. Capture Raven and send the fugitive to the factory this time. Raven, Archibus is on high alert. Use our scanner to avoid that situations. Yeah, you didn't tell me what kind of situation ah, this was going to be. Raven? We should take their rusty old AC. Shut it down! 
Searchlights. We'll be in trouble if they spot us. Unidentified AC! That thing's ancient. Is that really Raven? Raven, fight back! I can't! We're not far from our destination, Raven. Walter's message. Is he gone? Enemy contact! AC! What's this? I've checked. It's not a trap. Raven, searchlights! What the it's fuck Raven. was the point of that? Neutralize the fugitive! Emergency beacon intercepted. Been a while, tourist. Good to see you're still kicking. Chief's coming to pick you up. Head to the rendezvous point. He's from R.A.D. Uh, she must be involved with Walter's mission. One, repair Makes kit Makes sense, they've talked like old friends this entire time. Hey, fellas. <laughs> Just gonna keep heading down this way. You live this today. We found Raven! Close the nuke! This is V-5 Tater. I'm exercising my authority to revise your orders. You are authorized to- We've got eyes on the independent mark. Don't hit the core! We want Raven- Raven, there's too many of them. That's true. Wait, I'm picking up something else. <laughs> it better be a fucking- Hey, Taurus! Oh, uh, it's Carla! Have you a little trouble? Carla? Walter, he asked me to look after you. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, thanks, Carla. Company, there's another AC. Green, great team. Joe's your junkyard? That's Carla's AC. She's backing us up, Raven. I don't just design weapons, you know. You'll see what I mean. There's a lot of them, Chief, but they're just MTs. Should have let me handle this. R.A.D. needs you in one piece. They're missing the point, Chatty. This is our tourist grand escape. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Unidentified AC! I don't have any options. Oh wait! I can punch with my fist! I'm going in! Ah! <laughs> Looks like we're clear. We better book it before more company shows up. Sending a chopper. We retrieved the tourists' AC too. Oh, yay! Once we've caught our breath, let's talk about Walter. That's definitely a different looking mech than, uh, <laughs> the one we fought in the arena. <laughs> you want to put all these old fucking parts on your AC? Here you go. <laughs> Augmented human, C4621, entering standard mode. Incoming comms. Back in your old AC? You were made for each other. The fact that you're still alive means that Walter made the right bet. All right. You deserve to know what we've been fighting for. We're getting I'll get rid you of introduced Coral. with the next mission. That's what Walter said, right? New parts available for purchase. Aw, oh, shit. So I'm assuming that, you know, Walter was among the scientists working with Coral, and they made, like, the group decision that, oh shit, this stuff's actually really, really bad, and we need to get rid of it entirely. So they, like, 
at least maybe, maybe not like purposely set fire to the coral and then started the fires of Ibis, but maybe they purposely let it happen, like they knew it was gonna happen, they are like, you know what, this is good. And then they found out, oh shit, coral's still around, and they've been trying to get back in ever since to try and get rid of it entirely. Now get rid- <laughs> what, 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 is, what is it called? Like, nuclear deproliferation? We're trying to, you know, deproliferate de coral. Get rid of it entirely, but where there's people in it. Or, you know, maybe not like human people, but like conscious beings that seem to be very human-like. So, I don't know what we're gonna do about that air. Uh, let's see what we got, though. Uh, needle gun. Send me out a weapon that fires special needle-shaped ammunition. Uh, dizzy grenade launcher. Heavy grenade launcher developed by Melanite. Handheld weapon, painstakingly designed from the composition of its explosive charges to the specifications of its barrel to maximize firepower. Greatest blast radius in its class. Ooh. That might be pretty good. Oh, we, you know, we lose out on a little bit of impact, but we get so much damage. But, you know, also in exchange, we only get half ammo. Fuck, that's, that's the, that's the killing catch. Okay. Another laser weapon. Dude, this one's massive. Double-barreled laser rifle designed by Archimus ADD. This is a power-hungry, high-performance variant that features two barrels in a vertical juxtaposition. Can be charged to amplify its power. Maybe I'll equip it on the left arm. Give it a try. Split missile launcher. Ambitious entry in Furlong's third gen lineup. This weapon improves accuracy with missile payloads that split as they approach their target. <laughs> Reminds me of F Pang. Whoa. Oh, I thought it was another. <laughs> I thought it was another pile bunker type weapon. Uh, EN shortfall, arms overburdened. Damn, really? This thing's fucking heavy as shit. Goddamn. Laser Dagger. Huh. Charge to blitz the area with an instantaneous sweep attack. Ooh, hold up, what? Oh, the fucking Wombo Combo. That's probably the catch of it, like, in terms of it being, like, really good. I love how everything's got higher attack power than my <laughs> assault rifle. It's just so mediocre for like actual damage, but it's so good for like peppering things. Where's my automatic laser rifle? That would be sweet. Uh, okay. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, look at the fucking damage! 2098 Earshot Heavy Grenade Cannon developed by Melanite. High end model, its raw power and blast radius verge on excessive and makes it hard to handle. Yet still, it enchants mercenaries with its considerable destructive force. Yeah! Yeah, that's an easy fuck yeah. Plasma Cannon. Plasma Cannon developed by Schneider. The intervals of this weapon feature. Uh, other internals of this weapon feature plasma technology provided by VCPL. Charge to ramp up output and expand blast radius. It's got a pretty decent impact. That, that like, repeated charge up plasma part probably isn't too bad. Cell six way split missile launcher. Eh, it's kind of what I've got right now, but just kind of like a little bit more. Ooh, 
Ooh. Traps targets in a pincer trajectory, limiting evasive options. Show it attacking an AC! Yeah, I do miss multi-lock on though. That is something I'm very intrigued by. Holy fuck, I never saw this. 12 cell missile launcher? God damn. What the fuck is this? Container missile launcher? Oh, oh, all right. We'll grab the uh, the twelve cell vertical missile launcher. We'll get those equipped before checking out anything else, in case we might need to like get some extra things. Moonlight. Holy fuck! Light wave blade developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute uses laser and pulse technology to accompany slashing attacks with waves of light. Charged to increase out. Output emitting larger waves of light. That looks cool. Fuck, maybe I will make that melee build after all, but okay. Uh, we, we weren't even trying to change this. Okay. So we do the grenade cannon for like supreme damage. And then the 12 cell launcher. Hope that we don't fucking fight any more, like, big enemies inside of a closed environment. 